This is a comparison of what it started in the start of the process and this is the end of the process. Where all, there's literally thousands of burn marks. Art can take many forms, and it's not always the realism of the piece that will draw you in, but for carver James Huey, it's that attention to detail and realism that makes his art so impressive as his bird carvings come to life thanks to hours spent in his home studio. It is tedious, you're right. It does take a time, it's a time consuming process, but it's all part of the, the look. The, the more detail that you can put into it, and the more accurate you can make it, the more realistic it looks, uh, you know, it just gives you more satisfaction. With his attention to detail and steady hand burning in feathers to create a natural and realistic look, you may think the Ontario native is a longtime artist, but in fact, it wasn't until he retired to Kelowna 10 years ago that he began to get serious about his art. At the beginning, it wasn't just about carving. After taking classes to advance his skills, he realized the birds would need to be painted once they were complete. It was a skill he wasn't necessarily familiar with after years of working as a machinist in a steel mill. When I first started, I ran into the problem. I didn't know how to paint. <laughs> so I uh, had to take lessons. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the carving is fantastic. I love it. But the painting is the part that I enjoy the most because it brings the bird to life. It's not all hard colors, it's all blended soft colors, and it's built up in layers. They're, they're actually thin, thin washes of acrylic on top of each one so that you enhance the color by building it up. It's not only the markings of the bird that Huey is focused on, it's everything, right down to the correct placement of the eyes, helping to create a carving that's as lifelike as possible. You would get the information either through books or through a uh, a bird that you would have in your hand and you would try and find the, the accurate accuracy of the eye placement, the beak placement, the width and the thickness and uh, you, you would take all these measurements and you would put them down and you're trying to make the bird as accurate as possible. It's trying to keep that high level of accuracy and uh, detail that, that you're trying to achieve on the birds both in the texturing and in the painting. Each bird can take roughly 60 to 70 hours to complete, with around 20 of those hours spent at his workbench burning in the feathers. He usually has three to four projects on the go, and up to this point, he's completed 50 carvings, with most focused on local species. In the new year, he hopes to take on some new and challenging projects. A couple of owls I'd like to get done. And I'd like to do another um, uh, hawk and then maybe even a small eagle, but it would only be half scale, it wouldn't be the full size scale. But that's down the road a little bit. Although he calls his art a hobby in retirement, it's something he's extremely proud of and looks forward to working on every day. For more information on his carvings, visit his webpage. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.